Welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Yes! Yes! Welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Uh, it's not an evolution, kids. It's a fucking revolution. What does that mean? What does the revolution mean? Uh, it means we're not putting up with any bullshit anymore. Uh, it means we're going to talk about whatever we want. It means we're living in our own world. It means that it's our time down here. Uh, it's all over once you go up Troy's bucket. Uh, you're back in the real world. Here, you, you, can, you can live in the land of make-believe. You can fat shame. Uh, no, nobody's going to harm you for that. I'm the only one that's going to take the heat uh, on Instagram, on my, my, my book of faces, uh, on Twitter. Uh, you make fun of people. You, 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 can, you can talk about your bosses. Uh, you can use uh, code names. Uh, you might even use a, a, a blurred voice. Uh, hey, hey, this is, this is Ron. Uh, I, I want to talk about my boss. It's, it's Dave Wolf. Uh, he's he's kind of really fucking me. He's, he's, he's kind of really he's talking down to me. He takes really, no, really lumpy shits. You can do whatever you want here. Uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm kind of going to call it like it is. I'm on my own. I'm solo. Training wheels are off. Uh, the bike's going down the street. My dad's waving at me. I can see my mom in the background. She's crying. She's all fucking teared up. Uh, and we're going to do this. We're going to do this a lot, kids. Uh, probably We'll probably start off with uh, two to three times a week. Um, take it like a fat kid starting a workout program for the first time. Um, we're going to take it easy at first. We're going to make sure all those muscles are loose. Uh, and then we're going to go threesies. We're going to slowly build as we go. Um, I'm going to be joined by my, my trusty sidekick, my producer extraordinaire, uh, a woman, a woman who's, who knows more accents than I think, uh, actual people live on this earth. Um, I'm, I'm talking about Jesse Wiseman. Oi, oi, how, where are you, where are you from? Yeah, I didn't tell you they were all terrible, by the way. Um, <laughs> but they, they happen. Yeah, they happen. That's all you can really say, yeah, right? They happen. They they'll, happen. They'll, they'll happen. Voices will happen. You have Voices a, carry, Amy Mann used to say. That's really progressive of you yeah, to have yeah. a woman producer. You're welcome. Yeah, You're welcome. I feel good. I feel like you broke the glass ceiling. Um, oh, ouch. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I know. You broke you broke the I glass know. ceiling. A lot of people <laughs> a lot of people say woman can't well, a woman can't produce a man's oh, podcast. Here we go. Uh a woman can't mm -hmm. you she should be barefoot producing the podcast. Who's saying that? A lot a lot of people. Um most of them live in caves. Right, um, it wasn't you like having no, a conversation no, with your friends, I right? Know, it was I, like, I, I no, overheard no. it. Like, oh, sure. hey, hey, does your producer uh, does she does she do it um, in the kitchen? Does she produce from the kitchen? Right. I hear a lot of that. Right. Uh, I hear a lot of. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, she doesn't like have socks or shoes. Um, she's <laughs> Clearly barefoot. Clearly barefoot. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, you know, she she doesn't she doesn't look at men across the streets. Uh, I hear right. that. I've, I've heard that a lot. Right. Um, from people. Right. Gosh, it's a shame you had to deal with that. Mm. I'm so sorry that you had to hear that. Well, now, um, yeah. So I'm here. I'm happy. Yeah, I you're broke, happy to be I here. I broke in the ceiling, and here we go. All Off right. to the fucking races. I'm I will gonna, be here to help you. My, to but, not help yes, you. And my job is to also test you while you're here. Test me. Yeah. Because I, I, I might, I might fat shame. I might say some things about ladies that maybe aren't aren't flattering. Okay, um, and it's my job to sort of to just keep it bottled up, keep it on the inside, never oh, to not say anything, never let that go on the outside. Okay, um, okay, I'm so I'm so totally I kidding. never to like keep thing. you in check. That would be yeah, a horrible yeah, 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 thing yeah. just yeah. to tell your producer like, hey, um, if you could not have an opinion for your own, that'd be splendid. That would be great. That would be that, that would, would be, be sheer. Great. Sheer happiness. <laughs> if you could just just shut the fuck up. Just shut I love how you're saying like, can you up. imagine? But like, like secretly, but secretly you're kind of like, it? wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing? But, it be you're, amazing? but you're like for the audience saying, yeah. But on the can outside, can you imagine? What, what, yeah, because what what I'm what I'm giving off is an M and M. It's a hard candy shell, but inside there's a soft gooey center. And Nobody will ever see that though. Yeah, and what I know of you, that's that's pretty much how you are. No, thank you very much. Yeah, because uh, yeah. I, I read a lot of that on the internet, and a lot of people say that. Right, um, they say skin. I'm, I'm too. Yeah, I'm I'm too giving. 
Um, I'm too kind of a lover. Mm-hmm. Um, too too humble. I'm sure you too hear. unselfish. I hear yeah, that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I hear that a lot. Yeah. There, look, there's a lot of acronyms, synonyms. Um, there's a lot of thesauruses thrown at me. Um, you know, on this subject in particular. Right. Uh, but uh, you know, look, kids, we got some sponsors who uh, who actually pay for this fucking thing to be on the air, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna rail into them right now. First up, out of the gates. Uh, we got a young stallion coming out of those gates. We, we, we got a secretariat coming out of those gates. We got a war horse coming out of those gates. I'm talking about StrikeForceEnergy.com. Uh, holy shit. I'm a huge fan of StrikeForceEnergy.com. This, kids, is the finest energy drink in the land. Uh, does it come in a can, you ask? Fuck no, it doesn't. Uh, does it come in a glass? No. Does it come in a Dixie? No. It comes in a tiny little tin pouch. Uh, you just rip it open on the go. But it's about as big as your pinky finger. Uh, you can carry about you know five thousand in a backpack if you wanted. You will never ever have to lug around heavy metal clinking cans like you're a fucking homeless person um, <laughs> trying to collect change at the uh... end of the month. You don't need it. StrikeForceEnergy.com has all your energy needs in a a tasty, tiny little tin pouch. It goes in everything. It goes in beers. It goes in waters. It goes in sodas. Uh, It goes in every every drinkable potion you've ever concocted in your entire life, Uh, and it keeps you going. Uh, Five-hour energy is a fucking joke. Red Bull, snooze fest. Uh, I'm still sleeping on the job. Uh, Strikeforce Energy, bing, bing. Uh, both, Both your irises. Are at fucking max level exposure all day long on StrikeForceEnergy.com. Go to the website, type in the promo code REVOLUTION. You get 20% off uh, of all your energy drink needs. You can buy a 10 pack, uh, you can buy a bottle that squirts out a a hundred of these motherfuckers. Uh, Or you you, you could go to the, the subscription of the month club and have it sent to your house every month like I do. I live off this shit pre workout, uh, midday. Midday crash right after a, a nice hearty lunch. Uh, I drink this shit. I love it. Strikeforceenergy.com. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Uh, <laughs> next up. Uh, boy, god damn it do I love these guys. Uh, I'm talking about Van Sant Law. Yes. Van Sant Law. It's, try- it's time to drop the hammer of justice on people. Uh <laughs> Look, kids, if you're looking for the best personal injury lawyers in the entire world, Van Sant Law, uh, they're, out of, they're out of Atlanta, Georgia, but, but, they, but they work out of everywhere because they're the fucking best. They travel. Um, if you've been in a car accident, uh, if you've been in a truck accident, trip and fall, medical negligence, semi-truck accident, if you got a neck injury, wrongful death, let's say your boss is, is sexting you. Um, let's say lewd acts are going on. Who the fuck are you going to call? You're going to call Van Sant Law. Uh, get him on the horn. Uh, so they'll win you millions, kid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through some of their hits in the last few months. Three point two five million settlement. Three million settlement. Two point three settlement. One point six settlement. They fucking, they get you your money and they get it in your motherfucking pockets, dude. Uh, Van Sant Law are the best personal injury lawyers on the planet. Uh, good buddy of mine runs the runs the whole ship. David Van Sant, um, one, of the, one of the finest to, people um, I know. Let's go to a recording of someone that has been helped by him. Sure. This is Creech McCready. Uh, Van Sant Law got me three point five million. Yeah. That's Creech McCready, kids. So imagine, imagine you. If you're saying to yourself, hey, I, I feel like I'm a little smarter than Creech McCready. I feel, I, I feel like I've done my job a little better than Creech McCready. Uh, I, I, I would probably win more money. You're goddamn right you probably would. Creech McCready was a fucking idiot. Uh, you're not. And they still got 3.5 for Creech McCready. 3.5. And thank you, Van Sant, for sending us that recording. That was really Yeah, that, well, that was, was live. The, he didn't send that. The courthouse did. Oh my gosh. Yeah, courthouse not that. So that was straight. So here, here's where you need to go. Uh, for free consultations, call 1 855 GA injury. That's 1 855 GA injury. Uh, or you can call this other number 404 991 5950. 404 991 5950. That is Van Sant Law. This is what they do for a living. 
Fucking ring them up. Ring them up. Uh, big fans. Next up, we got uh, we, we got carnivoreclub.co. Oh, it's a .co. You know they got their shit together. I caught a CO falling asleep on death row. I grabbed his gun and he did what I said so. Go to carnivoreclub.co. Uh, <laughs> here's what it is, kids. It is the finest meats in the entire world, boxed, gift wrapped, and then sent to your fucking house. Uh, I can't even believe it's a real service, but it is. They are the tastiest meats in all the land. They scour the earth looking for these fucking meats uh, just so that it's 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 the top quality shit uh, and, and things you would never think of. Like, oh, hey, uh, fuck, the spicy spread of pork. Didn't know that existed. They do it. Uh, the, the salami. Oh, my God. God damn my it. That, favorite. That, salami, it's like, they're, it's like they're making it in fucking Italy. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you want from me? I'm Italian. <laughs> uh, it's like they're making it in Italy, shipping it down. There was one type of meat that I had from them uh, that I called the owner. I called Tim Ray, and I was like, hey, um, not real sure what this is. I, uh, I think I accidentally threw the label away, and I was eating it pretty quickly. And he was like, you know what that was? That was a llama's leg from Calcutta. Calcutta, India. Interesting. Yep. You loved it. They scour the earth for the finest meats in the land. That's what the fuck they do. That's what the fuck they do. Yeah. Um, do they do they breed uh, live pandas just because the meat is so good and put that in a box? Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know what these meats are. They're that goddamn good that I don't know if I'm eating a live panda. But... I will say this. It'll change your life. And if you're looking for that person that, that is hard to shop for, get a bro, a fucking meat of the month subscription, and uh, he'll love you forever. He'll love you for Maybe maybe you're gay and you're having a hard time coming out. So get him a box of meat that'll break the ice. Maybe he'll let you stick it in. Uh, type in the promo code REVOLUTION. You get 20% off at carnivoreclub.co. Uh, next up, we got, we got Wilmington Brewery. Good old uh, Wilmings and Brugge, my favorite I beer that's that's them. ever been made. If Jesus uh, made beer himself, made a fine craft beer, I can only imagine this is his beer. This would be the beer that he made. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I look. I saw they just opened up the tomb uh, in Israel, and, and I would think, I would think in his his chalice, sure, uh, would be some of this fine Wilmington. Bruco, which beer. uh, which one? Do you uh, think he would like my favorite is the sneaky goose. So probably God would like or Jesus. Yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. Jesus would would love that one as well. Yeah, I think he likes. I I think he'd like the sneaky goose because it's it's a thirteen point six and it gets <sighs> it gets you real He's fucked up. That. It gets you where you need to go. You know, Dang, what I'm saying? are you serious? Gets you where you need to go. You don't have to take a bus. Just Holy drink some sneaky goose. You'll get you where you need to go. You you can cancel that Uber. This will get you where you need to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, the sneaky goose is my fave. Uh, the 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 fu- their sour beers are dope too. I know I'm a sour guy. Uh, they got thick beers too. Um, that like the Blair's breakfast. Uh, big fan. Uh, right now they're currently only in North Carolina, but they're on tap in almost every single restaurant here in uh North Carolina. Get you some. And if you're in Wilmington, North Carolina, pop on by. Pop on by the Wilmington Brewery and uh, tell them Ross Patterson sent you. Uh, now you're a big fan of the Ross Patterson Revolution. Last but not least, we have arguably uh, the 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 finest finest novel ever written by man, woman, or child, uh, and not only this earth, but in the entire fucking universe. I'm talking about. At night she cries while he rides his steed. Yeah, the first ever romance novel for dudes. Get on the fucking horse. Uh, If you're ready to laugh your dick and balls off, get at night she cries while he rides his steed. If you're ready to read vulgar shit on another level, get at night she cries while he rides his steed. You're ready to tell your, your coworker to shut the fuck up. Gain some courage by reading at night she cries while he rides his steed. It's 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 written by a, a little man named Ross Patterson. Uh, he's got a heart of gold and a tummy full of no fucks. Um, he's a man that's never played tummy sticks in his entire life either. Uh, 
Go to go to Amazon.com. <laughs> not Walmart. that there's anything com. wrong with that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. He just hasn't done it. Right. Uh, Walmart.com. To his knowledge. To his, to his knowledge. He could have been blacked out and, and somebody could have gotten sure, naked and rolled sure, around sure, on sure, him. Sure, sure, sure. He doesn't know that. Where can and he we also reserves to himself in the third person. <laughs> okay, where can we get Walmart. it? Walmart.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Amazon.com, bookstores everywhere. Uh, it's the greatest thing you will ever read in your entire life. Uh, it's also available on Audible.com. So go to Audible.com. And listen, and listen to to my fine, sweet, sexy voice narrate it. Uh, big, big fan of that book. Wonder why. <laughs> I bet. Uh, I got to tell you, Jabes, uh, Jablers, ready, willing, and Jables. Um, oh I yeah, man, I've been I've been thinking about this all day. Um, why? Because I I've been eating salads. I, I've been on a healthy mm. kick this year, as a lot of us have. Uh, trying to trying to get my, my summer bikini bod back, you know. It's time for tan lines for for this one. In part, that's why these are audio. Oh, stop the right there! First ones are audio. The audience knows that uh, I I am I am ripped like a parachute cord. They know that I am jacked like an El Camino in the front yard of of a Mexican's house. I was talking about for me. Oh, oh. no, no, no. Oh yeah, again. No, you're right though. Well, I, I don't again. even know why. Yeah, exactly. Know yeah. your place. Uh, we remember the name of the show. Um, this isn't. This is uh, again. There was a glass ceiling that I broke. Um, so I don't want to fucking hear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I'm on one tonight. I'm, glad that I'm in the middle of one tonight. Even, like, I'm in that. the middle of one tonight. No, but I, I, after my 90th salad this week. Um, you know what I was thinking? I I just I wish I had a like a toddler's body. Um, I know that sounds weird. Uh, I know people are probably going to click on this episode because that's that's that better probably be the title of it: a toddler's body. Um, oh boy! I, yeah, I know, I know, but I I want that jacked physique of I uh, of my son. He's three years old, oh, and uh, I want that jack. Oh, and he's just all he does is eat pizza all day. Uh, chips, fucking combos. He's bugling up every finger he's got, all ten, going bugles across the <laughs> uh, across the tips. And uh, I want that fucking toddler body. Like, I just wanna, I just wanna eat pizzas all day. I'm, I've never been one of those people who has just, you know, sat there and been like, oh no, I, f- I feel better when, I, when I'm eating healthy. I just, I, I, I feel like I don't have that same fucking hangover when I'm fucking eating healthy. I, I, I feel like the, the, the vegetables inside of me that I'm eating. No, fuck you. Fuck you and all your bullshit. <laughs> no, you don't. You were a fucking lie. No one feels that great. Like they were the, like like vegetables fuel the car. It, it's not like you know Doc Brown. You're and you're shoving fucking vegetables in there, and you're like, oh man, that's my fuel to fly. That's my fuel to fly today. Uh, I, I'm not. You're a liar. I'm not one of those people. You're not one of those people. Um, and I, I just, I just wish, I wish it was like a Westworld type baby, like Westworld for babies. Um, where you could just pick out a, a like a body, like a baby toddler body, because I don't. I want to still keep my head uh, on my, a baby. Sorry, I'm just. No, no, I want to keep my head, but like uh-huh. a stretched out baby's torso, like a baby's torso. Um, you know, like right. I think, because it looks, it's deceiving. When I look at my my son, I think, man, I think we have the same size torso. I think it's you know, like right. lengthwise. I th- I think that's right. I think your legs grow. But your torso is always kind of the same, isn't it? It's like, you know, a couple feet tall, right? <laughs> I'm a, like, I'm a tall drink. Uh, I think the rest of my whole shit's six. Th- I'm six three. You know what? That's I think the rest true. of my whole shit is legs. And I think that's four. I think that, that's, uh, that's a, 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 a shade under four feet. I think my head, my head's probably six inches tall. I don't know because it's never been chopped off in body and laying next to me. So I've never been able to measure it. Um, I think it is. You do have a larger... Uh, I get I, I get a, lar- a larger dome. Uh, don't know why. Um, it's probably to keep this brain in. <laughs> I'm kidding. I fucking hate when people say that. Uh, that's yet another thing I hate when people say those. Th- don't come up to me and say you're a fucking vegetable eater for life. And don't come up to me and say, oh, you, but my head's so big, I gotta keep my brain in. <laughs> yeah, sh- <laughs> shut the fuck up. He finally grew into his head. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Uh, but yeah, I think I think our toddlers are the are, are not our toddler. Our torsos um, are the same size. 
So I think I want like a good, like a good toddler body torso that's just jacked. Um, you know, full six. Obviously, I can eat pizzas all day. I can eat my sour cream. Uh, fucking. Uh, what, yeah, what, what, what are those? What uh, Pringles. Want? I yeah, have the yeah, Pringles. Yeah. I want the Pringles. I actually, the sour cream lays all of it. Anything sour cream and onion, boom, throw up my fucking gullet. I think I've asked you this before, but what is your Madonna and whore food? No, no, go ahead. Go, f- f- fire away. My whore food, what, what am I ashamed of? Like, what, is, what do you love, but you wouldn't like, you know, order in front of it? It's your like, oh, but I, I wouldn't, or, yeah, 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 yeah. My, do you my, know what I mean? And my then, late like, night when you're shame? at Mastro's, you're that kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. what is your. Like Madonna, you put. Oh, on I can. The I can tell you in a second. I can tell you in a sec. Yeah. Uh, it's it is uh, spicy nachos Doritos, um, okay. piled with cheese. This is your whore food. My whore this food. Is like in yeah, the yeah, bathtub. Yeah. Yep. D- lights. One hundred percent. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. mid, like midnight, twelve thirty. Just mm. finished writing. Soup. You know, starting to get super late. And I'm just like, uh, uh, open up a because I, I want a fresh bag. I want a fresh bag oh, of Doritos. Crispy. I want. I want to hear that thing pop. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a it's like a bra strap coming off where you're like, oh, oh, and you gasp a little bit, you know? Uh it, it's it's like a, a nice set of heaving nachos that just whoa, I, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh go- oh goodness, I'm nervous. <laughs> and then and then I wanna I, I want some shredded cheese because I don't want to shred that shit myself. Yes, yeah, so you want it like totally nice bag. across. Okay. Nice crisp bag of of sharp cheddar. Sharp. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 I, w- I wanted to have stabbed somebody at one point. Like, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. I want that sharp cheddar. So I want to I want to lay that down on a bed of nachos. Uh and then I like my nachos crispy. So I put them in the microwave. Okay. I go I go 110. I go a minute 10 in the microwave. Uh, and you know why paper I go my plate, paper plate. oh paper plate of course um but you know because you know why I don't go oven that takes too long then that wouldn't be horish right. that would be like oh civilized oh, meal oh, yeah, Mister yeah. Mister Patterson uh, uh, where would you like to be served uh I mean I might as well have a fucking English butler serve it to me if I was gonna bake those motherfuckers um but you know I, I if we're going full whore full whore food I'm saying I'm saying paper plate. 110 to 115 because I like them a little crispy. And then when they come out, uh, I like a little mild sauce, a little mild taco sauce. Not, not salsa, uh, not, not fucking guacamole. I don't want to be chopping up guacamole or oh, dumping okay. that on there. So like the El Torito or something like that? Yeah. Uh, Just like plain, like you put on enchiladas. Yeah, like El Paso or, yeah, like, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or one of those okay. fucking things. Um, but it's taco sauce. It's not salsa. No, no, I don't no. want it to be chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah. So uh, I like that. And, and then if I had my druthers, my 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 druthers, uh, if you will, I, I would I would house, absolutely fucking house, a two liter of grape Fanta. I know. Old school ghetto fucking and I'd go sit on the front porch and eat that shit. But uh obviously the neighbors wouldn't respect that. Um because I'm a gr- I'm a grown up. I'm a grown man. He's got a child and uh, can't be eating nachos, drinking great Fanta on the fucking porch. But uh, that would be my ultimate, my ultimate whore food. Uh, now the Madonna food. Now you're talking about like the fancy food. That's talking about like what do you? Yeah, like when you go out or like super nice dinner. Sure. What is? Because my look. Because when you say Madonna and whore, I, I, I'm going to be mean, honest. Like what do you tell people and what right. do you not tell people? But but here, here's the thing. Madonna sullied that name so much now. When you said Madonna and whore, I, I just, they're synonymous. I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Which which one's the the bigger <laughs> whore? Um, all right. So if we're going like biblical Madonna, that that type of shit. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's got it's 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 got to be Mastros. It's number one with a bullet uh, to me. Yeah. Um. But it, but a close two. Uh. By, by the way, for the for the viewers at home, uh, it's Mastros uh, Steakhouse in uh. They, there's one in in uh, L. A. There's one in Vegas, um, and I think I heard a rumor they just opened one up in, in Washington D.C. And um, New York. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Shit. Passed Shit. it. Shit. I passed it on the way to Fig and Olive, where I was like, "Damn it, I should oh, have been going man, to Astro." Man, uh, we, gotta, uh, we gotta go back next time in the yeah. NYC, um, and then I go, I go surf and turf there, uh, and I, and I get a little gnocchi. 
Um, a little lobster gnocchi on the side. Oh. If you're going big, obviously. Yeah. This isn't a nightly thing uh, where we're just dropping fucking dimes inside there. Um, you know, I'm not dining like fucking Big Papa or anything. Um, but if if I was, I'd go to Mastro's every night. Um, oh, yeah, if, I mean, yeah. shit. I, I, come to think about it, if I was... If I was as fat as Big Papa and I was already like super fucking famous, that might kind of be the dream. Because what what happens is you can't be skinny, go to go to famous and then get famous and then get fat. If you're yeah. fat and then get famous, I think you got it made because everybody's like, oh shit, he's fat as fuck. Like that's then, what I love about him. Yeah. That's that's what I love about my special guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you could be a fucking slob and everybody would like uh, not only appreciate it, but relish in it. Pardon the pun uh, for the food we were just talking about. <laughs> but they would. Um, they would be amped about it. They'd be like, oh, fuck. Feed him more. Feed him more. Feed him more. Feed him more. <laughs> like, they would be amped about it every time we were out. And they would be like, oh, shit. Like, because I heard Belushi was like that. I heard Chris Farley was like that. And everybody, like, it, it was just a, a fucking excess every time they went out. People were fucking feeding them drinks, shots, drugs, food, and it just, it never ended everywhere they go. And he was stuffing his face, like like Farley was stuffing his face out because it was comedically hilarious. So I heard he would just smash full hot dogs oh. inside of his mouth, burgers, like you, you name it. And he people would be lose. like, oh my God, yeah, can't lose. Can't lose. Can't lose. And then you die. Then it's you die. It's like the uh, name we do not speak, but Jonah Hill. Um, yeah. Like... He w- he started out fat, so right. like, he got skinny, and people were like, eh, we actually don't Skinnier. like you like that. Like- Skinnier, yeah. No, but, you know, people were actually kind of like, we don't like you like that. And then he beefed back up. Which is great. Like, I know. I would, I would love if people were like, oh, we kind of liked you fatter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But- H- holla if you hear me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, you want me to be fatter? What? Fuck you. I can get fatter. Yeah. I- I'd go out in the, sh- I'd go out street oh. dogging it, you know? Uh, I'd be the- running through the streets in New York, just going from cart to cart. Gyro, uh, hot dog, pretzel, fucking what do you what do you have there? It's ter- teriyaki. Where's that from? India. Shove it in, homeboy. Let's get wet. Um, that's what I would do, uh, and that would be a thing. But again, I started off skinny. I can't go hugely fat, or else people yeah. are like, oh fuck. Because there's, there's always that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gained a few pounds. Yep. He looks a little hefty. He I looks a little time. big in his britches. He looks a little well, large and in charge. I don't know if they're saying that, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they would say that. Yeah, 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 I say that about people, don't you? I mean, yes. We fat shame people all the time, uh, men and women, men and women. Uh, there, yeah. There's times where you're just like, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and it's look, it's nice if you can, like Amy Schumer, doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, she, cause she was on the thinner side before she started and then got famous and was like, oh, fuck you guys. I'm going to be a feminist. I'm going to start a feminist movement. I'm just going to keep eating. Well, it is so much easier to be at her weight, which is like 160 for her. Well, once, that's a, know, that's a generous, that's a generous call, Jabes. It was like really hard for her, which it's hard for all of us to get down below what our easy weight is right so right it's like that's why it's hard but like but 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 guy wise uh on, to flip this because i don't, I don't want to make it seem like i'm just fat shaming women yeah you go brando you go val yeah. kilmer for a stretch uh dude even affleck when he beefs up fucking dicaprio dicaprio gets fat oh. after every movie he's dicaprio fat but he does it right he rents a, a, a yacht mm-hmm. uh 40 fucking 10 models that don't speak english uh, you don't see in them you, you don't see them for two months He's doing blow in the Riviera where the fuck he's at. You see these weird, like, long telephoto lens pictures where you're like, oh, fuck. Dad body got fat, whatever. And then he just rolls back uh, the Golden Globes, thin as fuck, looking sharp as shit, right as um, rain. And you're like, God damn it, dude. He does. He cleans up. That's what I know. He cleans want. up great. Yeah. Clean up well. Like, I want to not know why you look that way. I don't want to know, like, what illegal stuff you've done. Sure. Like, I just want you to show up yeah. looking good. Yep. Show, show and up. do whatever the hell you want after that. I'm not yeah. talking to you, but I'm just saying, like, I want my stars to, yeah, like, your you stars, know, yeah, my celebs. Yeah, I don't want them to be just like us. 
You know? No. no. Yeah. Because then I don't, it's I like, don't want stars to be uh-uh. to be like us weekly. Don't don't be just like us. Like don't shop don't, for yourself. Yeah. Are you fucking retarded. Don't pump your own gas. What, you're so stupid. You're, you're a, pumping your own gas. Yeah. You're a fucking celebrity. A, don't pump your own fucking loser. gas. Loser. I I I fucking paid eight dollars. Eight dollars to see Manchester by the sea. Casey Affleck, don't don't fucking don't don't you dare pump that gas. Don't do it. Don't you dare pump that fucking gas, Casey. You son of a bitch. Um, yeah, but uh, that's how rich we want to be, right? Yeah, to t- like totally never have to be like celebrities. They're just like us. Like you'll never be caught. In no, that. no, no, never. I'm it, just joking. As a matter as a matter of fact, uh, you want to be so rich that you don't ever go to a gas station. Nobody sees you fill up. You've got you've got you've got house guest. Or maids, or whoever the fuck it is at that point, filling up your car for you in the garage with with the with blinds. You have blinds in the garage, so nobody sees you filling up your car. You want you want your only two neighbors to guess of like, oh my god, I've never seen him gas up. How he never gasses up his car. He's so famous. Holy fucking shit. He's so fucking famous. That's a level. Dude. All I see is tin cans going in and out of the garage. Full of gasoline. He's so famous. He's so fucking famous. And then always, like every two days, keep a dog grooming truck out in the street. So there's like, wait, what the? Oh my god, he takes care of his pets. There's a fu- there. There's the groomer again. Uh, but the groomer's wearing a tuxedo. Um, I, and I kind of want my groomer to look like Bowie, like a like a like you know Bowie. Uh, like an older David Bowie, like right, you know, a couple okay. of years before yeah, he passed. Yes, like, yes, yes. I am the black star. Uh, yeah. That David Bowie, where it's mm-hmm. just slick back and you're like, oh shit, that is a fancy fucking man. What's his backstory? I don't know. But he's, he's, that's his dog groomer. That's his fucking dog groomer. I can't believe it. And he's, there's there every two days. How many dogs does he have? Did, what if he just has one? What if he just has one dog groomer and the fucking dog groomer is always there? That's he's super famous. He's super fucking <laughs> famous. This guy, I can't believe it. Okay. Oh man, right. that's, bring it in. That's, bring that's, it that's, in. That's the level that uh, that you you really want to be at. Uh, by the way, what's your uh, what's your your Madonna and whore food? What, what do we got on tap uh, for you? I I wasn't ex- well. I yeah, wasn't, yeah, I know I you weren't expecting asking it. Asking for you to ask me, man. But, that um, that wine is tipping, tipping on fofos. Uh, it is a big glass you got there tonight, James. Listen, it's it's just like physically big, but there's not a lot of look, wine kids. In it. You can't see it. Uh, it's it's as if she's got two <laughs> bottles inside one one cup, one one goblet. It's it's like you're like a, you're drinking like you're on Game of Thrones right now. <laughs> like you've got this goblet of 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 wine. Uh, what's your what's your whore Madonna food? So my whore food, yeah, is. A bologna sandwich with mayonnaise. Oh God! Sp- I'm sorry. Speak up because that was that was I so can't. low that I, I want can't. I want everyone no, to hear that hear... disgusting. What the fuck? What? It's like a childhood. What, what, thing. Is, what is it? Bologna and a bologna sandwich, basically, which everyone knows. <laughs> Just bologna and Wonder Bread. Bologna, Wonder Bread, and a little bit of mayonnaise. Oh God, mm-hmm. damn it! What are you, are you watching there, reruns you guys... of Two Two Seven too? Like, what, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Jack A? <laughs> what are you doing in, in this life that a bologna, Wonder Bread, it just and... It like takes me back. There's some kind of foods that you're, usually are your whore foods. Where does it's that like, take you back? That's to the, what the I fucking, ate when I was younger. The streets of Harlem? Like what? That's what I ate. Who was watching you? Who was supervising you? Myself. Bologna and a little bit, a little bit of mayo. Little bit and of mayo. God, that's disgusting. Or secret sauce, which my dad made up, right. which is mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard in the mayonnaise I, like i get down a mustard mayonnaise that, that's fine yeah the bologna sandwich the bologna is uh can't do i know it. it's rough but like <clears throat> can't do it those who know know so if you know about it you know about it you know what I, i'm gonna I, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell the audience a, a little story why i don't eat bologna uh never told this story before and my madonna I, is I, the same as yours by the way so is it moving on but Mastro's, obviously. Yeah. Everyone's Madonna food should be fucking Mastro's. Mastro's. Or else kill yourself. A close second, anyway, though, is Joe's uh, stone crab. St- stone, stone crab. Stone crab, or for me, like a, a pasta dish at like an amazing Italian restaurant. Right. Just really simple, amazing, but go. Right. Like, go. The, like the Olive Garden. Something like that. Something I nice. I don't know about that nice. Oh. But, <laughs> go ahead. You're talking about a Carabas? <laughs> a little, like a, a little down. macaroni grill? 
So there's a little more oil in okay, it. I'd go, I'd, go, I'd go carabs. Uh, I'd go carab it up. Uh, <laughs> spilling, spilling my soup and my, on my pants. Uh, uh, could you, hey, could you take this off the bill? I spilled it. It's all over my jeans, because uh, I think that that that's what you do at a at a at a Karabskis yeah. or a or a, a Marconi Grill. On my corduroy jacket, yeah. man. I man, I, I, I that soup I ordered, that shrimp soup I ordered. I think I spilled some on my dong. Uh, I could you take this back and and tell the chef I am sorry because it looked like a nice fucking thing. Um, <laughs> I know that character. I know that character. It's not a character. You Where know, you, you been? Where you been? You know that character eats bologna sandwiches and fucking mayo oh, uh, on All Wonder right, Bread. Carry on. Sorry. Carry on it. my way. What's uh, No, but it, it's uh, here. Here's my bologna story. I never told this before. Is I was wor- I was worried what the statue of limitations were like. I'm not worried anymore. Um, I'm coming out of closet with this one. Uh, this is my this is my baloney story. So we used to uh, aggressively aggressively uh, roll people's houses in high school. TP, you know, toilet paper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah. Uh, there was a kid uh, whose dad was my little league coach. Uh, that uh, that I I hated the kid, hated his dad. Um, I was an all star every year. Uh, one of the most gifted athletes irrelevant, as a child. Irrelevant to the story. Nope. Go ahead. Nope. One of the most gifted athletes as a child. And I did make the all-star team one year, and it was because this kid's dad was my coach, and he picked his son over me. So this grudge went on through the high school years. Uh, never liked, never liked him anyways. wasn't popular. Didn't give a shit. Um, you know, I, I wasn't. I was never mean to him uh, until he came to one of my 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 friends' parties one night and got drunk for the first time ever. Started talking shit. Knocked him out. He rolled down a hill, uh, and he was he was a little overweight. Fat lump of shit just kind of fell down the hill. Oh what Uh And then I found out later, like he was hitting, like he was hitting on somebody I was dating, and I was like, man, uh, I had some, I my I think my uh, my my parents were out of town, and so my my friends slept over, and I was like, yo, let's fucking get this motherfucker. And they were like, oh shit, dog, do you want to roll? Do you want to roll that fucker? You want to roll that fucker? And I was like, yeah, 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 let's 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 fucking roll him. Uh, so then we rolled him and then, uh, my buddy, uh, Mr. Chris Bunch, uh, had a, a whole fucking thing of baloney side seat of his car. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to decorate that motherfucker's car. So when he wakes up in the morning, he's going to have a baloney car. Fuck him. Um, so I took out, I, I, it was a brand new pack of baloney, put baloney all over his car. So it looks, it looks like the car had polka dots. Giant polka dots on it. Yeah, because it takes off the paint, right? Didn't know that. Oh, uh, oh. Didn't know that till the next day. So, parents come back in town uh, a couple days later. Um, angry calls. Uh, one oh thing leads God. to another. They find out everybody was over at my house. Uh, all that shit. And that we put baloney on the car. He drove... On Monday morning, because it happened on a Friday night. Monday morning, he drives the car to school. Sure enough... It's it takes the foot baloney takes the paint off a vehicle, especially an older vehicle. And I want to say this kid had like a 92 something when it was blue. Um, but w- the way that the blue was on the car, it, the baloney made the spots white. So it looked like he was driving a white polka dotted car uh, down the streets. Oh, it's really fucked up. So my parents, uh, uh, my dad ends up talking to this this other dad. And nothing happens, and they don't uh, they don't press charges. Um, I don't I don't have to pay for anything. And they were like, oh, we'll just chalk it up to fucking whatever." To this day, I don't know if it's because that kid told his dad that I beat him up at this party and he wanted more in trouble throughout school or whatever the fuck was going to happen. Or what I'd found out years later was my dad had gotten in a fight with his dad. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, behind the scenes at a at a fucking little league thing, um, there was I love that there was shit. it was. But here's the thing, because that when you're the same age as a kid with other kids, and you live in a town and you grow up together, you're you're gonna be on the same teams always. Like that that's just how it is. And so you start start trying out for shit where they can weed people out. You're either gonna be on the same team or in the same league as them. So you're gonna see them for fucking years to come. 
And uh, there was there was a, a I was trying to they were trying to switch me positions one year, and I didn't understand. And he was an assistant coach. And my dad had found out later that they were trying to switch me positions, and and he was trying to get his own son in, who was fucking terrible. And uh, so it came to fisticuffs. I heard, uh, Dang, and like I a love shed, that. yeah, and like a shed. Um, but I, 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 uh, long story even longer, uh, folks. I, uh, I I stopped eating bologna after that because I thought to myself, all right, if mm-hmm. if bologna can take the paint off a fucking vehicle. Why am I going to put this in my mouth on a, like a repeated basis? You know what I'm saying? I just, I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. But that's why it's the horror food for me. It's because I'm, you know, I'm so ridiculous about that stuff. So I, it's like, that's the way that it's like, I, you I, are, you I like, have you're, you're it. You're a Guomo girl. You're a, you know, a GMOs what? and, you know. Uh, you kind of, you know, I just think like that where it's like, I like if to get healthy take, stuff. No, it's like, if it can farm take to the table. paint. <laughs> dick to table <laughs> if it can take the paint off of a car i just don't like that that kind of stuff and there's so many foods yeah but you like eat it that. you're still eating it oh i know i know well, but, it's but what's another whore. food that takes takes paint off a car well like teflon from your pans can kill a parakeet i just read on the pan well look a lot of parakeets have been dying and uh, <laughs> And yeah, pr- prayer, prayers go out to everybody that's uh, going that's, through that, that parakeet. Yeah, the parakeet uh, death. The uh, the famine over in um, uh, various parts of uh, Chad uh, right now. A lot of parakeets you are know. dying in Chad. Uh, uh, prayers to you guys. We're going to start a GoFundMe. What what what, what else is going to take the paint off a cart? For real. What else is going to... What like other food? Food, food What wise? other food do you put inside your body that would take the paint off a cart? That I put inside? Yeah. Oh, n- nothing. Yeah, nothing. Think? So, but th- that's my point. I don't eat anything that 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 takes the paint off a car. I don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah. of another food that takes the paint off a car. Yeah, yeah. So, bologna is that that one for me where it's just like, ah, uh, fuck. I, I I just don't. I can't get down on that. Yeah. Can't. I just can't. And I think it. And makes it's not like sense. a Muslim, you know. <laughs> well, it makes sense that I don't. That it's my whore food because I don't eat stuff like that ever. Right. So it's one of those things where it's like even hot dogs. It's like, oh, God, what is in there? Chicken beaks yeah, and vaginas I, and stuff. I, yeah, so, but I, I've, I've seen the hot dog videos, obviously, as mm-hmm. a child of like, hey, these are how hot dogs are made. Aren't you right. disgusted? No, I'm not. Yeah, hot I mean, dogs are delicious. And I've dropped a hot dog on the on the hood of a car. Nothing happened. Okay. No same, paint was removed. But, same. But, you know, I think that's the idea of the whore food is like. It's something that you never eat and you never would. And it's so far from what you do eat normally that it's like, ah, oh, it's like in you the You want to feel your bathtub. insides just fucking burning. I, yeah. you know, hey, sure. Why not? Why not? Look. Why not? Why not? I'm not going to judge you anymore. I'm going to put the gavel down and oh, uh, thank I'm going to stop, stop judging you. Thank uh, you. But I will say this. that That is the most ghetto whore food mm-hmm. out of anybody I've ever heard in my entire, like, that's as bad as like like that's uh, the only thing worse is if you would have took off the bologna and just said yeah my my, my guilty pleasure is mustard on fucking wonder bread one slice fold it over and jam it right in my mouth um that that would be my 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 thing uh if you heard a dog bark I got a I got a I got a beagle here in the studio today <laughs> uh I own a beagle love beagles um sometimes they bark at fireworks i don't know if that's a thing by the way i don't know if a a, a medical examiner's ever opened up a beagle and been like oh <laughs> fireworks they're, they're they're a dangerous thing to beagles uh but they bark at fireworks um, every dog barks at fireworks ah uh, do they do they? Yes, it's a thing. Remember the thunder jacket? Oh, the thunder jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, I'm a could... big, big, big proponent of of a of a nice thunder jacket on a dog. Yeah, we're working on that as a sponsor. So yeah, open, yeah, yeah. open invitation for those who don't know what uh, a thunder jacket is for a dog. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the commercials. <laughs> if you if you've seen the uh, the videos that go on, <laughs> but. They were like, oh, is your dog scared of thunder? And then crack, boom, there's a huge fucking line of thunder and lightning outside. And they're like, you need to get your dog a thunder jacket. And you see these like little dogs running around. And there's a woman and a man Velcroing this fucking jacket onto a dog. And apparently 
it, it's either tight enough or it suits them up and it keeps them safe from thunder and they don't bark. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know where they get this, this, this fucking thing from. Like, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Not only that, but, but when was the, the time that you heard, you, you first heard thunder and then you were like, fuck, my dog is barking. I better go run across the room and cover him in my jacket. Well, I better go put a rain slicker on my dog because it's the thunder and shield them from this thunder. I mean, the worst thing about it is it, it says it's an anti-anxiety jacket right for dogs right <laughs> which didn't we didn't you first get the dog for like for oh yeah yeah for 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 like, like uh a, what do you call that uh the uh you take them on planes yeah the um therapy dog a therapy dog a therapy dog i mean that, that's what i told people but yeah yeah, yeah. I told but, people. Uh, yeah we got the dog for a movie i got the dog i bought the dog for a movie but i don't think in a million years you were like if this dog has anxiety I'm going to get a thunder jacket for it. Treat it. No, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, I just assumed that all dogs bark at thunder. Um, that was just my <laughs> assumption when I bought the dog. Uh, as it should be most Americans' assumptions. Uh, you know, there's parts of China, obviously, where they eat their, they eat them and they're delicatessens. Therefore, it's like, fuck, when it, when it, when it thunderstorms in, in China, that's, that's hunting season. They can go out and find where those stray dogs. Hey, did you hear that dog? Go, go let's go kill that fucking thing. Um, that's. That's yeah. what that is. That's a like they they welcome thunder in China. Not yeah. here. Uh, we, we keep them as pets over here, and uh, uh, a thunder jacket is is really all you need. Um, you know, in <laughs> I these, mean, in these times and, like, of crisis and anti anxiety meds for your dogs. Probably, I which... need a thunder jacket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you know I get scared of thunder. I don't bark. Quite often. I don't bark. Um, I don't scream at the thunder. Sure. Um, but there, it does. It look, it does cause me to to do things. Uh, I throw my right arm up, uh, real violently. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of like uh, like when a deaf person's really like they want to say something really angry and they tap their chest real hard and they give that oh index God. finger out. Oh God. That's what thunder makes me do. That's what thunder makes me do. So, uh, if if I. Uh, if I had a thunder jacket, obviously that would take that away. People would want to hang out with me more in uh, you know different weather situations. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's not a thing for me. That's not a, that's clear not, skies. Let's hang out with Ross. Yeah, yeah. C- cloudy skies. Let's, no, let's get, do let's not get him call the fuck him. out of here. Do not call him. <laughs> get, get get that guy the fuck get, out of got, here. Why? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. We we heard some thunder in the background. Yeah, but why does he have to leave? Uh, be, be, because he's he's about to violently tap his chest uh, like a deaf woman, and then oh, it sign at somebody. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And right now, look, look I, I know a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, I can't believe he would say this about a deaf person." Um, guess what? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to spoiler alert you guys. They can't hear the show. So this is. <laughs> This is not for them. Not that not, I'm not against. I have nothing against deaf people. Nothing like that. I'm just saying this. This show, like, there's no transcription of this. So uh, maybe someday soon. Uh, yeah. by, by the way, sp- speaking of of, of the transcription, uh, this like fa- this is the new thing on like Facebook and YouTube and and all of that shit. Uh, it they're kind of rolling it out. I, I have a, a blue check mark next to my name. It means I'm famous. It means I'm super super famous. Uh, means a gas up in the garage in private. Uh, no, but I, and they, they've been rolling out this feature to people, and I got it. And you could you could tap it, and what it'll do is it'll take any video you put in and then transcribe it. So it'll put words underneath it. Oh. And I was like, oh shit, this is dope. Nope, turned out like Surrey for me. Oh, Tur- it turned out like fucking right. Surrey for me. Yeah. So I your voice is unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. By any- to to Surrey or any robotic any system, yeah. voice recognition. Yeah. So That's I crazy. I so I was like as as a you know as a joke I was like all right cool I did this song uh on my on my Facebook fan page uh, on Ross Patterson Facebook fan page that was uh that was called Waffle House Waitress it was a rap song about Waffle House waitresses and uh, y- you were in the video Jablers yes I was the Waffle House waitress so I tapped it. Not and I was like, brag. "Hey, tra- transcribe this for me." You know, all of the words were fucked up. No shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, it's it, it just 
it couldn't I, I would say it was like f- I would say four out of ten words were correct. Um, but then others, it was just kind of making up on its own. Like, uh, there's a cat right there, and you're That's like, "Whoa, a condition!" That... Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone else, uh, and it so transcribed. So then I tried it with another video um, on on fa- on the, on the book of faces, if you will. Sure. I, I did it on the uh, I did a, a a super drunk version of Silent Nights. Uh, yes, was we we all know Silent it well. Night. We all know it well. Yeah. Because I say the word fuck probably 60 times in, the, in this song. Yeah. This is my rendition of Silent Night. Um, it, 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 I mean, it was, it was so all over the place that like the, the screen froze and then it, just, it was just popping up like gurgling out weird words. And then wait, but then one of the words that it shot out was motherfuck Frank. Uh, I don't. Oh my gosh! I, I don't know. I like that though. Like, leave the transcribe on it. My, like, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I was honestly thinking about just leaving that transcription on underneath it and being like, "Oh my god, this is fucking hilarious!" Because the video was banned for like forty eight hours, anyways. And then I I protested. Some people wrote in because there was like a live birth scene going on behind me on a green screen behind me. And then triggered. Yeah, triggered. And then I fuck pussies. And then I. uh I I got banned for 48 hours from Facebook. Then I protested and I said, because you have a right to 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 fucking protest back, to fight the man back. And uh, I did. And so they they said, okay, uh, you can keep this video up because uh, I said the, the, the live the live childbirth was from YouTube and that it was a real woman having a real baby and w- like women's bodies are beautiful, that whole thing. And so they 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 did hit me back two days later. And they were like, all right, great, you can keep the video up. But at that point, the, the, the views were killed and it just kind of got nuked. Uh, but now I'm going to go back just because we're talking about it. I'm going to go back and, and press that transcribe button I and see how fucked could, up it is. I think it could revive the whole thing. That way, anybody who, who wants to go back and watch after this, this podcast is over, you can go to my fan page at, at Ross Patterson and then watch. The, it's called Super Drunk Silent Night. Um, and, uh, and you'll you'll have that. You'll have that. Uh, <laughs> you'll have the experience. Yeah, you'll have the full. You'll have the full fucking experience. <laughs> it is. It's. It's really great. We. We. Sh- we all showed our moms. My mom was not stoked about it. No, and nobody's mom is, which like makes it. It's one of my favorite more, videos, by the way. Yeah, it makes it. It makes it all the more, you know, intriguing. Yeah, I liked it. it, it it's one of my my uh, my favorite videos. There is. Um, I thought it was good, but you know, I'm a fan of Adult Swim and. All that weird Same here. shit. It's so very, it's very Adult Swim. Super it, fucking weird. Yeah. Soup's weird. <laughs> soup's uh, weird. So you soup's weird. If yeah. you're cool, then you might like it. If you're dumb, you might not. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much the way it is. Look, if you're if you're cool and you do coke, uh, you'll love this video. Uh, <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're a loser. Uh, you won't like this video. You won't. No, I'm kidding. You won't like this video. Uh, look, James, it's it's that time of the show. Oh my god! Yeah, where we get to uh the revolutionary person of the week. Oh my gosh! Someone who started a revolution, somebody who changed the world, somebody who made a lot of promises and then backed them up. Uh, t- today's root revolutionary person is uh is his name is uh, uh Tawanis Brown. He is originally from the south side of Chicago, it says. Um, it says here in 1916, on a brownstone porch, uh, his mom brought him home uh, some bologna from the deli. He sat there. Uh, he, had, he had one back end, like a loaf piece of bread. He cut it in two, uh, put the bologna between the bread. Threw a little a little mayo on there and made the first ever bologna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> to Tawanis, uh Washington Brown. His last name is Brown. Washington Brown. Um, I want to say I was like, thank you. you God bless you. <laughs> you are you are a man uh, of the people, for the people, and by the people. Uh, people people like uh, like Jesse Blue Wiseman. Are, Tawanis. Are, are grateful to have you in 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 this world, and uh, for that we applaud. You. Can you cue some applause? Can you cue some applause there? Sure. Awesome, awesome. Ah, oh, let it ring. Let the freedom ring. Uh, mm. And to all of you out there, all of you future Tawanis Washington Browns, 
uh, who are thinking about doing something important in this world, give it a go. Uh, if there's a hole out there, put your dick in it. Uh, for the Jablers, uh, I am Ross Patterson. Welcome to the revolution, folks. Have a great night.